to be on what bush certified accountant. Say, say, a battle straight from the dear. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff, and then one year, you might our temporary workplaces in a month from no music. I put you among the other day. I'm a decorator. Say, HM, I was before I did a couple of work. What's me? Wow, it came and yes, as well. What is so cry? Address 335 to 351 Raynham Road South, Dagnum RM 10 8 QR. Telephone 0208-226-4933. Mobile 079-568-04517. Ah, certified accountant. Me humba ma me humba chami. Mudi mpunti yo, abba me duma yume. A man come for Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show. A man come join the conversation, family issues, social issues, our Munsem, child upbringing, about our Munsem, a man to tea Munsem, a fear shensem, a member so can don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to a man come on top online. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What you is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. A quantum of moons. A quantum of moons. A quantum of moons. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Pramayam. Pramayam, Top Online Radio UK. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. On Apprentice Munsem. Join Mami Pramayam. Pramayam, please. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Time on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show this and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. Make a date with Mami Pramayim. This and every Friday on Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Shall I be? Namasamit Yamaji. Yansa Nibak for three more. Who can you win him? Namasme can you mean him? Being in a year, Siati. If you had a beer, I'm saying Shannon's top online radio UK. We will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. Tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store or go to toponlinestation.com. I want to your moon, sir. Apprentice Munson, Apprentice Munson, and so on. Next player, listen to DJ G Nice on Top Online Radio UK. This is an every Tuesday evening, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. As he brings you, next player, what's in the mix?
It's really anything goes. Social issues, cultural issues, diaspora issues, Ghanaian issues. It really cuts across all the board. Listen to DJ G Live this and every Tuesday afternoon, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. Don't miss the show. Join the conversation. What's going on? Next prayer only on Top Online Radio UK. You can listen to this program live on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. You can also tune in live on our website, toponlinestation.com. Download our free radio mobile app from the Play Store and the App Store. You can also get the download links from our website, toponlinestation.com. Don't miss the show. Join the chat. Join the conversation. Let's talk. Join TJ Night. This and every Tuesday afternoon, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. You don't want to miss this. This program program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountant Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them for all your accounting and tax matters on 0208-226-4933. That's 0208-226-4933. Or you can visit their website, certifiedaccountants.org. That's certifiedaccountants.org. DJ Unice twice as much. Thinking of coming to Ghana now or later? Wondering where and how to go about your stay while in Ghana? Have you heard and want to experience Ghana from her food to music to culture to heritage and to tourist sites? Denilex Travel and Tours is ready to hold you down. Denilex Travel and Tours is your ultimate travel partner right from the airport to wherever your destination may be. Denilex is well equipped to handle your travel needs and be your guide throughout your stay in Ghana. Connect with us on social media at Denilex underscore group or visit our website at www.denilexcompanylimited.com or call plus 233-744-431. The experience with Denilex Travel and Tours is always worth reliving. Try us. Denilex Travel Travel and Tours, your ultimate travel partner. Our very lives consist of moments, occasions, events and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forget them. Unfortunately, to forget is human. And time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts at Dance Studio UK. A firm of professional photographers providing on equal photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration, a business event, a religious event, a political event? or other social events. At Dam Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. At Dam Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. Ebusian four, so Keshi ni nyao padia. E mam kwanchen fu biya me se piche cinema wu. Ubiti mi kase, I'm sorry, o piche cinema wu. Contact Adam Studios UK on 078-52-311-049. That's 078-52-311-049.
at Dan Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs at Dan Studios UK naturally flawless at Dan Studios UK incredible photographs with a touch of spice for a brass song it's time it's time it's time for in his presence this is dj kb top online radio uk from the studios of top online radio uk hailing from the eastern corridors of london or in a room i brass on someone with top online radio uk say monday be a ball no more three eight o'clock eight p.m uk timer then you know it's time for in his presence this are even christian um programmer any reverend jacob van der poy uh a year every monday in tea mr wasa wabaswa now i share one body can buy and i j berry ma hey 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 i stand past that that is a oh hi yahoo pa or like mommy sophie one of the camera no so i'm going to share link no now, for so intimate, I intune into us now, and they be saying, I may ask them, maybe I try, but my reverend minister, so I bomb pie, am I in tea? I we are going to gain, as somebody said, in the end. And tea, yes, sir, Breno, mean for reverend minister, bra na yen chassis, I. Welcome to In His Presence. How are you, sir? Well, uh, thank you. I'm blessed. I'm blessed of the Lord. <laughs> All right. How is the family and the prayer network? God has kept us and all is well. Everything is going on well. We give praise to the Lord. Okay. Um. So... Uh, tonight, um, I think our topic is going to be, uh, the theme is going to be um, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Yes, um, it's on the screen. I put it on the screen. Say, love your neighbor you. as yourself. And it's Matthew 5, 43 to 48. So that is going to be our theme for tonight. It is still part of the Sermon on the Mount, but this evening mm. um, I will let Reverend Minister lead the way and we will hear what the Lord has for us. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, DJ KB. Thank you, Top Online Radio. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited. We've come to the presence of God. Amen. And dear listener, dear viewer, you are welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We have every cause to rejoice. And I will encourage you to share the link. You are welcome to in his presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. Amen. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Father, we come before your presence. Lord, we are so grateful. We thank you. What shall we say? All that we have to say is thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our families. We thank you for, for the food we eat, for the uh, uh, water we drink. We thank you that you have given us life. For Jesus says, I came that you will have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Somebody, as you hear the sound of my voice, invite God into your house, into your car, and let God take preeminence of everything that you are doing. And tonight, I pray with you that as we listen to God's word, and as we wait on the Holy Spirit for his direction, our lives will never be the same. Tonight we are going to share the greatest commandment is love. Love God, love your brother, love your enemy. So you are welcome and 
we, we will go straight into the word of God. So like our presenter rightly said, uh, we've been talking about the Sermon on the Mount. This is the last badge of chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5. That's the last badge. And I love the, the uh, 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 title. I love the session. It talks about love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself and love your enemy. And from there, we will see abstract from the Old Testament, what uh, the Old Testament dispensation was talking about love and what Jesus taught us, the principle that Jesus taught us. So we will take it from there. We will take it from there. So we will read Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48, please. Okay, Matthew 5, 43 Three to 48, please. Okay. I'll read from the New King James Version. Um... Okay, it's a long one, isn't it? Five forty. Okay. Mm, about six verses. Okay, let me bring my one as well. All right, so I read Matthew chapter five, verse forty-three to forty-eight. You have heard that it was said, "You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy." But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so? Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Amen. 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 Thank God for love. God himself is love. Jesus is love. Christianity is about love. But in the olden times, uh, in the Old Testament, he says, you shall love those who love you. And you shall hate those who hate you. And Jesus was fulfilling or bringing the principle of law, uh, love into play. He explained to us that what use is it to only love those who love you and hate those who hate you. Definitely, if somebody loves you, you will reciprocate. But that doesn't uh, uh, spread out love itself. Love itself is going to the extra mile, loving uh, unconditionally. We will come back unconditionally. God is love. And they that love are of God. And they that love not are hypocrites. So Jesus says, love your enemies and pray for them. That is where we find it difficult, but as a child of God, love, the condition of love or the law of love is to love those who love you. And if I will read Matthew 22, 36 to uh, 40, it, it, they, they came with a hard question to uh, try Jesus. And Jesus has this to say, Matthew Matthew 22. Maybe if I get there early, okay. I can read. I'm there, so Matthew 22. Okay. 
Yeah, 36 to 40. 36 to 40. All right, mm -hmm. I'll read that. Matthew 22, 36 to 40. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. It's up to 42, isn't it? Um, up 40, to 40. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. They came tempting Jesus and says, which is the greatest commandment? And Jesus made it categorically clear that the greatest commandment is love. And he, he explains it. He says, you shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with everything of yours. That is the first commandment. And you shall love your brother as yourself. And in answer to them, he was telling us that love is unconditional. The Old Testament principle, conditional. You will love somebody because he loves you. That is condition. But love is unconditional. Love is the greatest thing. When you read First uh, 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 Corinthians chapter 13, the verse 13, it says three things abide, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest is love. Anybody who does not love God or does not love the brother he sees, he, 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 he is an hypocrite. First John chapter 4, and the verse 19 and 20. If any man says he loves the Lord and does not love the brother he sees, he becomes a liar and the truth is not in him. For John says, how can you love the Lord you do not see? And the brother that you see, you see him all the time and you do not love him then your love of God is empty. Love is not conditional. Love is unconditional. Love is unlimited. So we should love people. And uh, uh, I will read one scripture. I will quote it. Proverbs uh, 24, 17. It says, Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth. Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth, and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbles. When your enemy falls, do not rejoice. When he stumbles, do not be glad. That means you should love him. But Old Testament principle was saying, hate those who love you, uh, those who hate you. That is a lie. And that is not godly. We serve the God of love. Brother, sister, I have been using some term in, on this platform that I love some people from afar. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you, you have to love all people. But you cannot be in the company of all people. Mm -hmm. There are some people you cannot operate with them in a way that maybe the way of their operation, we are not saying they are wrong, but they operate differently. And you also operate differently. So you should love them, pray for them. And as we go on, we will see that the, the law of love is to love God, is to love your brother, is to love your friend. Love your uh, uh, neighbor, love your brother, love your family, love your friends. Jesus, but I say unto you, love your enemy. That is where we try to live out. 
when we were doing an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, we saw that they say repay. But Jesus said, we shall not pay evil for evil. Mm. Vengeance is of God. Yeah. God is the one who takes vengeance. All that we need is to take the situation to God in prayer. I will not sit here and rule out pain. There are times certain things we do to one another, it brings about pain. And tonight I pray that if there be any pain or any bitterness in your heart, may the Lord, the God of all flesh, the God that healeth, may the Lord heal you and may the Lord take control of every situation that is drawing you back from people. Jesus said we should love our enemies. So how do you how do we love our enemies? Love deals with response. Your response to your enemy. For all you know, you may think you don't have enemies because you are law abiding. You are not biased. You are not judgmental. But for all you know, all the good that you are doing, it doesn't please somebody. But Jesus says in response and not rehashing. Rehashing is, is, is your emotion. And we are human. We have our emotions. And tonight, we take authority that God will deal with our emotions. We are flesh and blood. Father, O oh God, speak to our hearts. Amen. Father, O oh God, where we have been wrong, where we, we see people and our temperature is going high, Lord, deal with the situation. Amen. Response is, uh, 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 at times, immaturity will cause you not to love people. Yes. He did you wrong. Yes, it, what he did is unpardonable in our language. But like I said, leave the situation to God. If need be, don't get involved with the person to complicate matters. But don't have bitterness in your uh, heart. When you do that, we have said all this when we were talking about meekness. It shows maturity. Love demands that we take an honest look at ourselves from God's point of view. Honestly, you have to take a, 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 an honest look of yourself. At times, we propound the situation. Definitely, Somebody has done something. But if you love the Lord, and if you are called of the Lord, and if you are a child of God, let go and show love. Show love. Not comparing with others, but comparing with Christ. <laughs> and when you want to compare with Christ, be ready to love. Be ready to let things go. If you want to compare with human beings, and even the pastor, the preacher, the bishop, the archbishop, there, there you, you will say, he did it. He's a man of God, so I can do the same thing. But in Jesus' vocabulary, let go. In Jesus' vocabulary, those who, 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 who took him to the cross, spite on his face, he, he let all go. He said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Amen. Lord, we take authority over every negativity in our hearts. We pray that the love of God will be shared abroad in our hearts Amen. tonight. See our needs and potentials. See our faults and our strengths. Talk to yourself as well. Hey, 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 set your heart. 
do unto others what you would like them to do unto you. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for who believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. If God in our sinful nature, if God for all that we did was able, he did not spare his only begotten son, but he demonstrated his love towards us, that Christ will go on the cross of Calvary and die that shameful death for us. We should be able to forgive others as well and let go of certain things. Love your neighbor. Love your enemy. It was said, love, hate your enemy. But Jesus is correcting the scenario. He said, love your enemy and pray for your enemy. And that is the difficult one. And tonight we ask God to energize us, to give us the strength. When we are praying, we do not pray that anything evil will happen to somebody who regards himself or herself an enemy of us. All that we pray, Lord, maintain peace. Lord, grant unto everybody what they deserve or what they are praying for. Father, O oh God, if I have wronged you, this is a prayer I pray all the time. If I have wronged anybody and I am flesh and blood, maybe the, the speech I gave even offended somebody. If I have offended anybody, forgive me. So if God forgives you and out of your sinful nature, God looks over you. Why can't you forgive your brother? Why can't you love your brother? Love your brother. Love yourself. The, eh, 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 the disciples of Jesus Christ, he taught them to love. 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 Love and feed uh, 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 my disciples. So, in the case of love, there are so many things we need to deal with. And tonight, if there are any addition, because we want to see the types of love, the types of love that we have. Okay, thank you very much, sir. So, I have two questions. The first one is mm -hmm. who is my neighbor? Because the um, the team says, love your neighbor as yourself. So who is my neighbor? I know in the Bible, um, when Christ Jesus was asked this question, he gave a parable. But in our days, some of us may not even understand what a parable means. So who uh -huh. is mm -hmm. our neighbor, Reverend? A neighbor can be anybody who does not live in your house with you. Everybody, you... It, it's not about proximity. We're in the English language, when we say a neighbor, somebody who lives the next to you or the next road with you or proximity is not far from you. But neighbor, in the terms of biblical principle, is everybody, anybody at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Neighbor is anybody that does not live under the same roof with you. Every human being is your neighbor. It's profound, but that is it. Mm, mm. And I think even <laughs> the, the, the word neighbor has been uh, become a cliche to some people. They use it anyhow. And yeah. I remember I was in a class, uh, on a course, mm -hmm. and the lecturer mm -hmm. said, um, you can discuss with your neighbor for five minutes <laughs> and i asked who is my neighbor and the whole class was you know so <laughs> yeah he was using the, the 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 term neighbor to mean the person next to you mm -hmm. yeah now he also said we should love our neighbor our neighbors how do we no even yeah the one you said we should love our enemies Mm -hmm. How do we love our enemies? Or not pray for our enemies as well? 
Mm -hmm. How do we pray for our enemies? Number one, how do we love our enemies? And number two, an enemy is somebody who has declared himself an enemy. You know, he doesn't seek your good. He doesn't want your <laughs> yeah. good. And the, 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 word, the word of God is saying we should love such a person. And not only that, I say we should pray for them. Reverend, mm -hmm. how do I love my enemy? And how do I pray for my enemy? Your enemy will be somebody who is capable of doing anything for your downfall. Mm -hmm. a, an enemy can go to the extent of a real enemy, to the extent of if to see you dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the enemy. There are some petty, petty enemies. They just want you to be uh, 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 to be failing there are some enemies they don't want you to die they just want you to fail or they just want you not to come on top yeah. but there is an extremist enemy to who would like you to die mm. so uh, let's come to the next point jesus means that uh, the intention of an enemy is to do you wrong or to see your downfall but in the vocabulary of Jesus, love is not limited. Love covers a multitude of sin. Even Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. And the scenario where you pray for your enemy, you pray for your enemy, first of all, is intention to harm you should not materialize. Okay. God change the heart of this person. Mm. And if God gives you a big heart because you are a Christian, I'm taking it from the perspective of a Christian. Yeah. As a Christian, Christ is love. And Christ says we should love our enemies. So if you are following the doctrines of Christianity, and you are really born again in the blood. I pray that God will give us that strength. Amen. You, will, you will follow the precepts of God. So in the first place, the person that regards you as enemy, you are for them that this person doesn't like you. This person doesn't want your welfare. But you in the perspective of Christianity, you, you you don't want is done for. Yeah. All that you want is God should restore the heart of sex a person. Okay. That's why we go to the extent. And if you master courage and the spirit of God leads you, Father, I know Mr. So so and so doesn't uh, 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 get on well with me. But Father, change his heart. Father, cause every enmity in his heart to be washed away. Amen. The area of dangers, that's why I keep saying there are some people you should love them from afar. Honestly, if you force that is your enemy and you want to be in his company all the time, you are not using the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God says, love him and pray for our father. So from the Christian perspective, all that we need is God to energize us, God to give us a big heart to be praying that everything that enemy tries to do in my life or in the life of people he doesn't like, Lord, don't let it manifest. Lord, change his heart. Lord, take away enmity from his heart. And so on. So these are some of the things we have to do. These are some of the things. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I think mm -hmm. it's well understood. It is difficult, yes, though, it's but so we have to... It's difficult. Yeah. I think we, it's we difficult, need to pray for honestly. more grace to be able to do that. More grace. More grace. Mm. More grace. Mm. More grace. And I say we will... Uh, uh, just think about some types of love. Okay. The 
God kind of love, we all know agape. Yeah. And agape is not conditional. Every child of God or every human being should have agape love. Agape love is the pure, unconditional love. That is what we are talking about here. Praying for your enemy. Mm. Not wishing the downfall of your enemy. That is agape love. Okay. And we have curious love. Curious love is romantic love. Okay. Romantic love can exist between loved ones. And you can be romantic to everyone. Yeah. Eros love in Greek means your spouse, your wife, or so Christian. That one is between you and your spouse. Or your spouse. <laughs> and filial love. Filial love is brotherly love. Okay. Companion. Having mutual understanding between your companion and so on. And finally, there's one love is called stoge love. Stoge love is family. That extends to family and friends. So agape love is needed in the life of every Christian. Honestly, every Christian must have agape love. Okay. And agape love is unconditional. Unconditional. So let's cultivate the love. And 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 the commandment of love is not to a selected few, but is to every one of us. Jesus said in John, John, let me see. John 30, 13, uh, 34, and 35. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. 35 says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love for one another. So be a disciple, be a Christian, Christian man. Let's love one another. Let's be one another's keeper. So love is unconditional. So Christians have enemies. It's a question that we have to attempt to answer. Jesus presupposes enemies. <laughs> Jesus himself knows that we, we will have enemies. Yeah. So uh, uh, it looks like DJ KB has asked that question already. How do we treat enemies or he promised enemies he presupposed enemies and he promised enemies if you have convictions do something worthwhile you will have enemies you will upset someone i think that's why i'm saying uh, there are some enemies they don't want you to die they don't want you uh, uh, even if something serious happened to you, they won't love it, but they just don't like you. And Jesus says, our way of living can upset somebody. Honestly, maybe the way you talk, maybe your honesty, maybe the way you say it as it should be said. There are some people that don't like people who are straight to the point. So you should also set your heart. That's why you pray for everyone. Because they can be your enemy for no big deal. For no big deal. And if you know that you cannot be right all the time. Everybody, let's read my lips. No one is perfect. <laughs> like this question I remember very well. That... Uh, uh, Matthew 5.48 we read it yeah. uh, DJ KB has asked that question before uh, be ye perfect as 
Jesus Christ. No one is perfect, but we are, are striving. We are striving because we are disciples of Jesus Christ. So check yourself at times. Check yourself. Maybe the way you go about things is creating enemies for you and so on. Maybe there is somebody he doesn't understand you or so on. So, uh, <coughs> so in dealing with our enemies, he says enemies can be friends in disguise. Honestly, enemies can be friends in disguise. There are some enemies they rather blesses you to do more. They put you on your toes. Yeah. Because if I know. Uh, uh, if DJ KB knows, I will criticize every program he does. Or I, I will come to the top online and say certain things that he will prepare himself. Yeah. He will have stuff to answer me. He will pray and say, this guy coming, <laughs> even though he's our guest. At times, some of the utterances he does. Mm. So, Enemies in disguise are people who encourage us to do more. So enemies can be friends in disguise. They keep us on our toes. The mature person will appreciate his enemies because they force him to excel. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they force him to excel. If everything you say and everything you do, everybody say, well done, well done. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, before you realize, you will be relaxing. If you are a teacher, you won't make research anymore. Yeah. If, if you are a radio presenter, you won't get other presenters and you won't balance things. Everybody is saying you are okay. And you, 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 you will be on top of the world. But enemies can encourage us. So I pray that if by any way or any means we have enemies, tonight may God cause us to be on our toes and pray for them and edify ourselves and pray that God will edify us and God will bring promotion to us. Amen. Amen. Be sure you are right, then go ahead. At times, too, because of our enemies, we do things without being sure. Oh, you have nothing to prove to anybody. I've been telling my children, you have nothing to prove to anybody. All that you have to do, ask God to cause you to be yourself and excel the way God wants you to excel. Ask God or uh, be sure that what you are going to do is it the right thing. And even if you do the right thing, there are the opposers. They will not like you for doing the right thing. They are the people who encourage you because they will cause you to search what you are doing. Ask questions. Before you present it, the guy is standing there Maybe he's going to study all these subjects, like the lab we are doing. If I don't take scriptures, if I don't support it with scriptures, the guy will have something to say. But the Bible speaks for himself, and the Holy Spirit reveals. God reveals to redeem. Father, I pray that you will reveal to somebody who is hearing us tonight and redeem us from the hand of the adversary. Amen. Amen. Don't be enemy conscious. Some people, everybody hates them. Don't be paranoid. Some people, they are paranoid. The moment they see myself and Keith, DJ KB talking, oh, they are talking about me. <laughs> Maybe we are in the same company or we do the same thing. For the fact that I have something to discuss with you, the moment they walk in, they think anything they are doing, they should involve them. Because they did not involve them, either they are hiding something from him, 
all they are talking about him. Don't be paranoid. Be directed by the Spirit of God. Amen. If you are an uh, enemy conscious and always thinking that, oh, what they are discussing, uh, they don't want me in, if they don't want you in, fine. Leave it to God. Don't be paranoid. Amen. Treat people as friends until they declare or prove their animosity. Treat people as friends. And when you treat them as friends, that will cause what is in them to come out. Mm. Oh, there have been situations, people have testified. A great man of God was saying that, that people were sent to arrest him. And one came and told him, he said, I cannot do it. The way you treat us, the way you do things, I cannot do it. So when you treat people good, what is in them will come out. Then love. Then love them even more. <laughs> even if they tell you they are treacherous, they are planning and scheming against you, love them more. Love them more. They put you on your toes. Uh, finally, two or three things and we pray. Amen. How should we have towards an enemy? Very important. How should we act towards an enemy? Your question was so good. That is where we are coming to. Try to determine why he is an enemy. What makes him to be your enemy? For all you know, something has been said about you. It could not be true. For all you know, the way you talk. For all you know, something, something about you. The person may be wrong. There are people who doesn't like good things. I, I say it and I will say it all the time. If you do good, they won't like you. But try to know why they regard you as the, their enemy. Amen. Is there any misunderstanding? Mm. Is there any misunderstanding between you and them? Could we be could we by communication resolve the conflict? Like I, I said, the system of resolving conflict in the house of God or in a society. Talk to the person. If he understands, fine. If he doesn't understand, call one or two people. Till you call many, if he doesn't understand, and people clearly are seeing that he is in the wrong, but he won't accept it. Leave him and pray for him. Steps to take. Steps to take finally is the step to take. And Matthew 5, 44, we read it, but I want us to repeat it. Matthew 5, 44, that will give us the steps to take. Matthew 5, 5 44. 4, please. Okay. I have that one. Mm -hmm. All right. But I say to you, love your enemies. <laughs> that is the mm -hmm. one day. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Pray for them. If he hates you, love him. Express mm. it. If he speaks evil against you, bless him. You've said all. If there is nothing you can do, then pray for them. Pray for them. There is nothing you can do. You can't kill yourself for anybody. You can't go about uh, somebody who doesn't want you to be about, around him. Mm. Identify the real enemy. People are not the real enemy. Satan is our adversary. Mm. For all you know, that's why we talk to people. Some people, it's not them hurting. It's not their wish to do that. And rejoice not over your enemies. So the love of God be shared abroad in our heart. 
May we know that God loves us and the same love we should reciprocate to our brothers and sisters. DJ, if you have something before we pray, our time is fast spent. Yes, I think I just have the middle of um, prayer uh, topics, which um, Reverend will add to it. Um, we will mm -hmm. want to pray for the sick. We want mm -hmm. to pray for children. We want to pray for any plans of the evil one towards, you know, the end of the year. Yes, and any people in any form of spiritual bondage. So, if Reverend Mr. can have first, the sick. Secondly, about children. Then, mm -hmm. any those in spiritual bondage and any plans from the enemy for the end of the year. Thank you, sir. Amen. 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 Dearly beloved, I just realized today that we have 33 more days to the end of the year. Yeah. And like DJ KB rightly said, in set times, there are many accidental occurrences. Yes. But we take authority in the name of Jesus. Mm. And we come against every weapon of the enemy. If God has protected you from January up to November 28, the Lord who protected you, he will protect you till the end of the year. Mm. May the Lord build a hedge over the lives of his people. Any plan, any scheme of the enemy, we have bought it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight, we present children before thy throne of Amen. grace. The Jesus said, let the little one come before me, for this is the kingdom of Amen. God. Father, at their schools, in their nurseries, in their peers, whatsoever they do, because they are vulnerable, the enemy tries to target them. Amen. But no weapon of the enemy fashioned against children shall prosper. Amen. We take authority over every intention of the enemy. We abort the schemes of the enemy. Amen. Lord, many are afflicted. Amen. Many are a, 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 being diagnosed with all kinds of infirmities. Amen. But you sent forth your word to heal, and your word healed and deliver us from all our destruction. Amen. Everywhere that you have a pain, what the doctor told you, be on the medication, but know that you have a great physician. Amen. Jesus is our healer. Amen. Jehovah Rothika is our peace, is our healer. May you receive your healing tonight. The Lord touch you wherever you are. And from today up to the end of the year, may the joy of the Lord be seen in our homes, at our workplaces. No weapon of the enemy fashioned against us shall prosper. Lord, we take authority. We pray for Top Online Radio. We pray for all medias. We pray for all places, places of work communities, countries, cities. Lord, let your peace that passes all understanding keep us, Amen. envelop us. Come to Jesus. Amen. Come to Jesus. Jesus says, love unconditionally. We pray for our enemies. And we pray that we will not harbor iniquity in our heart. Amen. We will not hate people. Lord, let your peace and your love be uh, shared abroad in our heart. Tonight, before I go, do you love Jesus? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? The, the same anointing that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I want you in my life. Jesus. Take control. If you have not made him the Lord of your life, you don't know the next minute. 
So just say, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for tonight. And I thank you for your love that is shared abroad in my heart. I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I come to you just as I am. And tonight I pray that Jesus, I know the Bible says, Jesus shed his blood for the atonement of our sins. Therefore, I ask that Christ will wash me and cleanse me from all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. God bless you, DJ KB. God bless Top Online Radio. God bless you, dear listener. And DJ KB, from next week, let's pray every week for towards the end of the year. Let's just uh, commit people into the hands of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you very uh, much. I, I, I appreciate uh, my coming. Thank God you bless very you, very much, sir. Reverend Minister. Um, a tip for us, Reverend Minister um, Jacob Van der Poy, and he's the leader of the Wailing Intercessors Prayer Network. Um, his number is on the screen. If you need any um, any assistance in prayer, um, you can call that number. The number is zero seven eight nine eight seven. Two four one zero eight. That is zero seven eight nine eight seven two four one zero eight. When you, if you want to join that network, you can call that number. If you need, you have any prayer request, you can call the same number. Thank you very much, Reverend Minister. We will come your way again Thank you, next sir. week. God willing. God bless you. God bless you. My love to the family. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Four, that was Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer warriors. If you have any prayer requests, you can call that number. Um, and the Reverend Minister will be glad to assist you. And this is DJ KB Top Online Radio UK. I say, I, this program is sponsored by a Certified Accountant Limited. So we will take um, some messages from them and our other sponsors. Don't go away. Who is going to do my account and tax returns for me, cra? Certified accountant. Certified accountant. Certified accountant. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a medical driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And then what's our crew with Japan? And then we will say, when you will be a what bring your accounts and tax returns more. Now bans are so more. Now who you actually? It's in America for certified accountant. And the Yamawo. F accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, what to do? Open money internet. Certified accountant. Self tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And if you should watch it, company. What you want to Now what the hotel bro? What is the caput? What is the bro? What is Certified accountant. Say say about us from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. Any more we are juma our temporary workplaces in Nigeria. Move from now. No one is capable to do more. We did the other day. We are saying HMRC four. I did come to work. What we move out? It came. I just answer out. What is so cra? Address three three five to three five one Raynham Road South, Dagnam R M ten eight Q R. Telephone zero two zero eight two two six. Four nine three three. Mobile zero seven nine five six eight zero four five one seven. Ah, certified accountant. Me humba ma me huwa chami. Mudi mpunchi yo abame duma yo.
Abrochire for Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show The Man Komo. Join the conversation, family issues, social issues, Awari Munsem, child upbringing, Abataye Munsem, a Mantiti Munsem, a Fia Shensem, a Mema Sukahu. Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to A Man Komo on Top Online. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation what Jun Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. A quantum of moons. A quantum of moons. A quantum of moons. Top Online Radio UK and the program Bremo. This and every Friday 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Pramay on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Friday 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on Apprentice Munsem. Join Mami Pramay on This and every Friday 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Time on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. Make a date with Mami Pramay. This and every Friday on Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Only on Top Online Radio I'm Radio UK. Jansen, you back for three more. What can you win him? I'm a smear candy minimum. You know, you see, I did. If you had a beer, I'm a presentation on top online radio UK. We will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. Tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store or go to toponlinestation.com. I want to your moon, sir. Apprentice Munsem. Apprentice Munsem. It's only. And so can. Mix clear. Listen to DJ G Nice on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Tuesday evening, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. As he brings you. Mix clear. What's in the mix? It's really anything goes. Social issues. Cultural issues. Diaspora issues. Ghanaian issues. It really cuts across all the board. Listen to DJ G Live. This and every Tuesday afternoon, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. Don't miss this show. Join the conversation. What's going on? (laughs) Next prayer. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You can listen to this program live on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. You can also tune in live on our website. Toponlinestation.com Download our free radio mobile app from the Play Store and the App Store. You can also get the download links from our website. Toponlinestation.com Don't miss the show. Join the chat. Join the conversation. Let's talk. Join TJ Live. This and every Tuesday afternoon. 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. You don't want to miss this. This program Program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountant Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them for all your accounting and tax matters on 0208-226-4933. That's 0208-226-4933. Or you can visit their website, certifiedaccountants.org. That's certifiedaccountants.org. DJ Unice. 
Wise has not. Thinking of coming to Ghana now or later? Wondering where and how to go about your stay while in Ghana? Have you heard and want to experience Ghana from her food to music to culture to heritage and to tourist sites? Denilex Travel and Tours is ready to hold you down. Denilex Travel and Tours is your ultimate travel partner right from the airport to wherever your destination may be. Denilex is well equipped to handle your travel needs and be your guide throughout your stay in Ghana. Connect with us on social media at denilex underscore group or visit our website at www.denilexcompanylimited.com or call plus 233-744-431. The experience with Denilex Travel and Tours is always worth reliving. Try us. Denilex Travel and Tours, your ultimate travel partner. <laughs> very lives consist of moments, occasions, events and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forget them. Unfortunately, to forget is human and time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts at Dan Studios UK. A firm of professional photographers providing on equal photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration, a business event, a religious event, a political event, or other social event? A Dance Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. At Dam Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. Ebusian fo so kesi ni hia o padia. E ma am kwanche fo bia me se picture sini ma wo. Obi ti me kan say I'm sorry. O picture sini ni na say. Contact at Dam Studios UK on 078 52 Three one one zero four nine. That's zero seven eight five two three one one zero four nine. At Dan Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs. At Dan Studios UK naturally flawless. At Dan Studios UK. Incredible photographs with a touch of spice. spice, spice. This is Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK. Hailing from the eastern corridors of London, we bring you news, views, music, interviews, trending issues. And what of you? Tune in to us 24-7 on our free mobile radio app. Download our free app from the Play Store and the App Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. Download the free mobile app and tune in to us 24-7. We stream our programs live on Facebook and YouTube. Just find us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for Top Online Radio UK. We welcome your views, comments, critiques, suggestions, etc. Just get in touch on our station line 079 Zero two nine four four three nine eight. 
That's zero seven nine zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you are interested in working with us as a radio presenter, a radio host, or a radio panelist, do get in touch and let's talk. Call us on zero seven nine zero two nine. Four four three nine eight. If you want to advertise on our radio, just get in touch and let's talk. Zero seven nine zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you want to sponsor any of our programs, get in touch and let's talk. Top Online Radio UK. Top Ghanaian radio station in the UK. 